Hey everyone, Dana here. Have you ever noticed that there are so many different words and different ways to say the country Germany in different languages? I spent the afternoon looking them up online and I was pretty shocked to see just how many totally, totally different names there are for Germany in different languages. Now I have studied or spoken at some point in my life the following languages, Spanish, Czech, German, and English. And judging from the fact that in all of those four languages, the name for Germany is super different in each language, I kind of knew or I kind of expected that there would be a lot of variation, but I was still shocked. I did not realize just how much variation there would be. Spoiler, not very many of the languages out there called Germany Deutschland, or anything close to that. Okay, so now starting off, here is how Germany is called in 20 different European languages. Please forgive my pronunciation. I will say that in advance. English, Germany. German, Deutschland. Spanish, Alemania. Czech, Niemetsko. Finnish, Soxa. Latvian, Vatsia. Lithuanian, Vokietija. Icelandic. Fiskaland, Hungarian, Nimatursag, Italian, Germania, Greek, Germania, Norwegian, Tiskland, French, Almani, Polish, Niemce, Luxembourgish, Deutschland, Romanian, Germania, Bulgarian, Germania, Dutch, Deutschland, Portuguese, Alemania, Swedish, Tiskland, Okay, so that was Germany in 20 different languages, but we're not stopping there. No, as I said, I spent the afternoon going down the Google Translate list of languages to see what Germany is referred to around the world. In total, I ended up compiling a list of how Germany is called in 100 different languages around the world. And then I sat there with my list for a few minutes not really sure what to do with all this information. You know, everything was just kind of all mixed together in no real particular order. So to try to get an overall picture of what we're dealing with here, I decided to group all the names into six different categories. Actually, the names more or less grouped themselves into the six different categories. I just gave them labels. And I decided to call these six categories Germania, Alemania, Deutschlandia, words that start with N and are kind of similar, maybe, Estonia and Finland, and other. And here's what that looks like. Here is how to say Germany in 100 different languages around the world. Germania, Alemania, Deutschlandia, words that start with N and are kind of similar, maybe, Estonia and Finland, and other. Now, I'm not about to attempt to try to say all of those because one, I'm not entirely sure how interesting it would be to hear an American sit there and struggle through the pronunciation of, you know, a bunch of foreign words that she's never heard before. And two, because the first 44 of them would just be me saying some variation of Germania over and over and over again. Look at this. Almost half of all the 100 languages here refer to Germany as something kind of sorta in the direction of Germania or Germany, which is fascinating given that that is not the name Germany gave to itself. You know, like we, and by we I mean us humans, we do this all the time with country names, with city names. I think it's super interesting. We give them a different name, sometimes a totally very different name in different languages rather than everyone around the world calling that place by the name that it gave itself. You know, like English speakers referring to Germany as Germany and not, you know, Deutschland, seems to me kind of like if I introduce myself to someone and I say, hi, I'm Donna, and they go, hi, Donna, nice to meet you. We're gonna call you Annika, okay? Wait, what? <laughs> I love the name Annika, but that's not my name, you know? 
I don't know. Yeah. I just think it's kind of a funny practice that we as humans do, like that we we often don't call cities and countries by the name in their language, but rather we pick our own language, uh, we pick our own name for that place in our language. You know what I mean? Let me know what you think about, about this down in the comments. Like, should mention be mention in English and every other language rather than, for example, in English, Munich? Should Deutschland just be Deutschland? Speaking of Deutschland, though, the category of Deutschlandia isn't even the second largest category here. No, that honor goes to Alemania, with 16 of the languages that I looked at referring to Germany as something in the direction of like Almania, Almania, Alman, something along those lines. So it's in third place, right? Nope, not even that. That honor goes to words that start with N and are kind of similar, maybe. Here are the nine languages that I found out of this 100 here that actually refer to Germany as something at least along the lines of what it calls itself, Deutschland. And it's only nine because I included Deutschland on that list. If I hadn't, it would have been eight. And then there are 19 languages out of this list of 100, so almost one fifth, where the word for Germany is completely unlike any of the other names on this list. And that just blows my mind that 19 languages here have such totally distinct and different names for Germany. I think that's so fascinating, amazing. Languages are just so, so interesting. And now here's the interesting thing, tricky thing, but also very interesting with using online translators. For the majority of these languages, I don't have any experience with the language. You know, as I said, I have experience with Czech, Spanish, German, and English. And my Spanish skills make it so that sometimes maybe some words in, for example, Italian or French or Portuguese might look somewhat familiar to me. And some Polish words might look a little familiar to me because of my Czech skills and so on. But there are a lot of languages, I mean, the majority of languages around the world, I just have no experience with at all, which means that I actually have no idea if what the translator tells me is correct or if something is missing. I just don't know. And the strange thing here is that I noticed that sometimes from one day to the next, the same exact online translation tool actually gave me a different translation for the word Germany in the same language. So one day it gave me one translation and then the next day it said it was something different. And I don't know what that means. Like was the translator wrong one of those days or perhaps does the language have multiple ways to say Germany? I just don't know. So yeah, while it is super cool to have these online translators, I think we have to be a little careful, you know, not to just put too much total trust in them. If you notice a mistake in my list here, by the way, please let me know down in the comments. So my question for you is, what other countries have interesting different names that you've noticed in different languages around the world? What do you think of all the different names for Deutschland? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. For more content, follow me over on Instagram where I post my Instagram stories in, in like German, Danglish, usually also with little English subtitles when I can. And a really, really, really big thank you so much to our patrons over on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so very, very, very much for your support. If you'd like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.